Hey guys, Bill coming back at you again with another video and today we're going to be topping the Ethos White Truffle Blueberry Muffin Bubba. We'll take a look here at the cereal milk and we'll also take a look at the Pink Kush Outdoors. Alright guys, so first off, let's take a look at the cereal milk here behind me and see how that's making out. Alright, there she is. She is doing fantastic. Got a lot of new growth this week. Uh, last week I had showed you on here. We were getting some spotting. Uh, let's see here. Like this here. Now I had mentioned that I was going to add some more Kelmeg. Seeing how this is my first time in cocoa. And they recommend to use plenty of Kelmeg in cocoa. Which I did do. I started adding more. And uh, everything seems to be doing fantastic now. And I'm not seeing any more blotches besides what was already there. Uh, everything seems to be doing really well. And we have, look at these tops, guys. We have tons of tops in here. Now, these are being grown under the Mars Hydro SP3000, which is doing a great job. I still haven't decided yet if I want to keep this in here or switch this out for the SP6500 that I have as this tent is two and a half by five so it's a little bit bigger footprint than uh, what this light is made to cover this is more of a two by four it seems to be doing great right here I'm just wondering in flower I may change it out for something that has a little bit bigger footprint just to make sure that everything here on the sides is all covered and getting the proper amount of par. Now we've gotten at least six inches of growth, probably seven or eight on some parts. And uh, we have to flip this to flower. Now what I'm gonna do is starting tonight, I am going to lollipop this up a bit more than what it is, quite a bit more. And uh, I may even use the technique that I learned from a Kyle Cushman video uh, where he takes all the bud sites off of the entire branch right up to the very top node and just leave the top node and uh, strip the rest off uh, i'm gonna do that tonight so it won't be on this video today i'm going to concentrate on the ethos we want to get that topped up as well so we're just taking a look at this today and uh, for the next week's video it'll be concentrated on this and getting this all cleaned up ready to flip now these are in five gallon pots and I am using the Mars Hydro drip irrigation system to uh, feed these guys. So I have this set to a timer to come on for a minute and 40 seconds. I had to buy new timers that would deal in seconds and uh, they seem to be working really well. But uh, each one has a little irrigation drip emitter down here, which is more of a sprayer. It sprays around the pot. Uh, and that seems to be doing really good. I also have them on the Floriflex drainage platforms, which all the runoff will go through this white pipe here into that little pump down there. And I did have it going out the window, but I've been changing my rooms around. I haven't had a chance to uh, hook it back up so that it drains out the window. So I have it draining just into a bucket here right now. And every week I'll have to empty that bucket outdoors. But uh, until I have it set up to drain out through the wall or through a window. Getting everything situated with my new tents and setups. So uh, that's what we'll be doing for now. So there's a look at the cereal milk. Now before we get to the white truffle blueberry muffin baba. Uh, let's go outside and see how the pink kush is doing out there right now. All right there we have it the pink kush. Now we have lost some to bud rot. Uh, I come out every day and usually every couple of days I got to go back in and grab the scissors and take off another another bud here or there. But we still have some buds left so not everything's lost yet. The temperatures are getting quite cold here at night. I think last night it got down to 6 Celsius uh, which is pretty cool. So uh, we'll see how she fares out here. So it's nice and sunny out here today. Uh, let's take a look at some of the buds that are left here. Uh, these buds are amazing, the ones that are left. Uh, let's see here, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful frosty trichomes. Let's see if we can zoom in here. Let's see, there we go, look at this. Beautiful, st sticky and smelly. 
amazing. So I'm not sure uh, how many weeks she has left. I'm thinking by the looks of the buds, I'd like to give it another three weeks. I'm not sure if that's going to be feasible, but uh, we're going to try to give it about three more weeks and uh, see what she looks like then. Now these buds are like really solid already, so hopefully I can get some to last until it's actually done. And uh, it should be some pretty good stuff. The smells out here though, I'm telling you, uh, the neighbors have a young couple that lives behind me and then beside me I have a uh, older couple, retired couple, and uh, I thought that might bother them, but they actually said they really enjoy this smell. So that's awesome, it's good to have neighbors like that. So there's a look at the uh, pink kush, and we have, hey Jazz, what are you doing down there? Are you being a good girl? Where's Max? Oh, where's Max? There's Max. Max. And there's Max. So uh, let's go take a look now at the Ethos Genetics. And we're going to do some topping on them today. All right, so here we have in the Mars Hydro 3x3 tent. Now this is under the Mars Hydro, the new Mars Hydro Smart FC 4800 Evo light. Overkill for this tent, but uh, I wanted to use it and my other tents aren't set up yet, so this is what they're starting out with. Uh, definitely not at 100% power, probably only at about 30 to 40% actually, but these guys are loving it. We got these beautiful huge leaves here everything is doing fantastic on these guys just beautiful so what we're gonna do is normally I uh, normally I like to LST these ones I'm gonna do a little different uh, we're just going to go ahead and top these ones so for now I think we'll probably just top the main tops on these two and uh, get rid of some of these leaves and we'll see what the rest of the plant looks like once we get those off so i'll go ahead now and uh, put you guys on the tripod and we'll get in here and uh, get her started okay so we're just gonna do it right here in the tent uh, we'll start off over here with this one got lots of little bud sites down underneath here uh, i think what we'll do is we're gonna cut it down we're gonna take off right here right down to these two nodes right there. So we're just gonna snip that off. Could have went up higher into here, but I wanted to bring the plant's height down a little bit. Beautiful, beautiful leaves on this. And uh, so you can see we have plenty of new bud sites all up here, all around the same area. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna chop off these leaves as well. Bigger ones up here. Okay, there we go. We'll pull off that one and we'll pull off this little one on the other side and uh, there we go and maybe even this one we don't we don't want any hindrance to light to these lower ones because we want these to shoot up and hopefully we can reach these bud sites right here okay so that's that's the plan we're also going to take off couple more of these smaller ones up here we want to feed these top ones a little bit less right now so that they'll slow down their growth just a little bit which should help these ones kind of catch up so hopefully that should bush the whole plan out doing that I uh, see another bud site right down in here that was being blocked and Another one here, and this branch, this leaf has a few little splotches on it. Now, now that may be because of uh, I wasn't giving these as much calcium either, which they are now. So I think that's that's about what it looked like on the other plants as well as on the cereal milk. So these are also in cocoa my first time. There we go, we'll leave that like that. We kinda wanna keep this level with this one. So we're gonna come down right there. 
again we could have taken it here we could have taken it up there but uh, I wanted to bring the height down so that's what we're gonna do we'll take again we'll take off these big big leaves look at the leaves on these beautiful nice and then we'll pick off a few of these other leaves here anything brought blocking light leaf there but it's not really blocking anything uh, we'll take this side one off that's blocking down here we got this branch here so I think we'll take this because this is the top one right here this and this one are the ta tallest ones we want to slow them down just a little bit, so we're going to take this little one off here, too. So, that should give these ones hopefully enough time to catch up. And uh, by next week, they should be bushed out. And uh, should get some nice plants out of these. I could even tie that down just a little bit, but we'll wait till next week and see how it looks. Alright, guys, so there we have it. Uh, we got to look at the cereal milk, which I'll be starting work on uh, probably tomorrow. And we did get some work done to the Ethos White Truffle Blueberry Muffin Baba. I have a hard time saying that sometimes. I should make a blooper reel. But, uh, so we did the topping on that. That should fill out quite a bit by next week. And also took a look at the Pink Kush Outdoors. Uh, which we lost some buds, but we still got some on there. And the ones that are on there are looking pretty juicy. Hopefully next week I'll have the house more in order. So the videos might uh, stream together a little bit better. But... We got to do what we got to do, right? All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Anybody that's interested in any of Mars Hydro's products, which I've shown in the video, or anything that they have on their website, feel free to check out the link in the description and use my code BWARD and save yourself a few dollars at checkout. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment down below, and we'll see you on the next one. Happy growing.